So now that you've attached your antenna up on the top of the box, we need to attach them to the bottom. And each of the antenna has a small lightning arrestor attached to that. So the lightning arrestor goes in between the cable and the box and we'll open up the ports on the bottom of the box. And I want to make sure that I attach the echo antenna to the echo antenna port and the 3G modem to its port. Tightening those on there. And then I'll take the ends of the ground for the lightning arresters and attach those into my ground on my box. Tighten that down. And finally, I have a grounding rod, which I'll drive uh, as close to that head as I can into the ground, and then attach that wire to the ground here on the box, and tighten that down. So now we are going to deal with the power uh, of the system. And for that we have two batteries that are here and we are going to connect those batteries with a jumper. This is the one that I have in my hands. Make sure that you connect the batteries in parallel so you want to go from the positive, the red cable, to positive of the other battery. And then do the same thing with the black cable which is the negative. Now I'm going to attach the solar panels together and like the batteries, I may have two, I may have three, I may have more. And between each pair of solar panels, I will attach a jumper. And the color scheme for solar panels, anything that connects to a solar panel has a blue and a yellow connector. Anything that connects to a battery has a red and a black connector. So now I'll use this solar powered panel jumper to attach the two panels together. And then I will attach the solar panels to the power box using this cable. And once again, yellow and blue goes to solar. And then this connector goes to the power box. So now that we have the solar panels attached to the batteries, and the batteries connected to each other and the solar panels connected to each other, we're going to power the power box. I'm going to do the same thing with the power for the box. Red to red, black to black. And now we'll move over to the power box and connect the cable from the solar panels to the center connection on the power box and slide that into place, lining up the notch in the plug, and then tighten down the nut. And the power coming from the battery will be this large blue plug. We'll open that one up. And finally, the very last cable that you connect of all of the cables will be giving the power from the power box to the DTS. And that's this final cable here, which again, you line up the notch with the groove until that fits into place, tighten that down. And connect the other end over here to the DTS box. Voilà